Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Aren't you a little bold for a civilian? Hello all and welcome back to The Week in Tim View. So for this week, a very special vlog. Disneyland. I haven't been there in years. This was my first time at Galaxy's Edge and I really wanted to explore and document everything for you guys, the best viewers in the world. Everything from just the setting and the ambiance to the big rides, Rise of the Resistance and Smuggler's Run, and of course Savi's workshop where you can build your own lightsaber. So if you don't have the means or cash to get there yourself, just tune into this vlog and also next week for part 2 where we'll be exploring the rest of the park. Honestly, this video did take a ton of work, so if you do like it, be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and tune in next week for part 2. So with that being said, let's just jump into it. I'll meet you guys there. Howdy, howdy, howdy! <laughs> hey everyone, and welcome back to the vlog. Got a fun one in store for today. We're heading to Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. We head on over to the first ride of the day, the entrance tram to the park. Excitement building, tension rising. We're now en route to the Disneyland Resort main entrance plaza. Gateway to Disneyland Park, Disney California Adventure Park, and the downtown Disney District. Please remain seated with the doors closed until the tram comes to a full stop. Gotta get your picture taken for your ticket. Here's mine, BB-8. <laughs> and we are in. The air is buzzing. Everyone's excited and ready to take on the day. First things first, Let's head to the most popular ride in the park, hoping to beat the lines. We enter through Adventureland, pushing past New Orleans Square, passing Splash Mountain, and on through Critter Country. Finally, we arrive. Rise of the Resistance. The park has just opened and already the line has piled up. $80. With this place, the name of the game really is Detail. Waiting in line for the ride, all of this immaculately detailed scenery transports you into the Star Wars universe. The place is littered with finishings and artifacts that feel weathered and aged, weaving together this intricate narrative that you really are somewhere else. Heading inside, we've entered essentially a real-life Star Wars armory. Every piece further contributes to convincing you of this illusion. Weapons, helmets, armor, gear. Scanning these little QR codes scattered around gives more information of what you're looking at, adding to the lore of Galaxy's Edge. After about a 45 minute wait, we arrive at the main room. Assembled. Good. Should you be in flight prep? Lieutenant Beck, 
one of our top commanders will lead you. Nine Numb and I shall personally see them delivered. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Death doors opening now. Doors open, and you are greeted by these fantastically detailed ships. Really beautiful art pieces. Stepping out onto the Sith vessel is a truly jaw-dropping experience. A legion of stormtroopers draped against the vastness of space. The video honestly doesn't do it justice. Venturing further in, it really does feel like you're on a Sith destroyer. The actors are imposing and intimidating. The costumes are intricately detailed, and the setting is simply spectacular. Oh, oh, oh. Nobody tell me to stop. Keep moving. Oh, I'm sorry. If you have any recommendations for a good place to get pizza, let us know. I'm looking for a planet called Pizza Planet. Or everyone into the cell. They've designed it in such a way that. Each section flows seamlessly into the next, really immersing you in this epic cinematic experience. Leave us. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The Resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Hey guys, we're with the resistance. We're gonna break you guys out, right? Let's get out of here. Here we go. And finally, we board the main ride. Strap in, pull on the yellow belts, and we're ready for takeoff. What? What? Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> hey, you know not authorized.
came in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. Lieutenant back here. Back. You're alive. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the Resistance base is Rising the Resistance is a truly incredible must-do experience. Do not miss it if you come to Disneyland. And just a short walk across the way, welcome to Galaxy's Edge. Of course, Star Wars merch as far as the eye can see. Plushies, figurines, Grogu's, just like Rise of the Resistance. The amount of detail in the scenery is simply staggering. No matter where you look, you feel transported. No longer in California, no longer in Disneyland, but somewhere else. Perhaps a galaxy far, far away. And can't forget this, a one-to-one -one full scale model replica of the Millennium Falcon. Hi. <laughs> if you're a Star Wars geek, this is the Mecca. You have to come here and see it for yourself. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Stormtroopers roam around in full costume and personality. Enjoy the day. Goodbye, citizen. Have a good day. <laughs> These life-size pieces are gigantic and awe-inspiring, really pulling you further into the illusion. Incredible. Yes, sir, right away. Your allegiance seems misplaced, citizen. They did not wait to be interrogated. All right. You're in charge of this sector? Yes. Keep these civilians in line. Yes, sir. Excellent. Excellent. Resistance activity has been reported. This knowledge is under observation. Uh, picture. 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 Picture convince you you're in some alien world. And of course, it wouldn't be Disney without merch. Plenty of costumes, trinkets, accessories for sale, and more lightsabers than you could shake a stick at. I think there's a custom lightsaber for just about every single Jedi or Sith ever featured in the Star Wars universe. Mirroring the area surrounding them, these pieces are beautifully detailed. Definitely pricey, but if you're a huge fan, maybe worth it. And now on to the custom lightsaber build at Savi's workshop. Alrighty, and you have your option between the, these three styles, or you just gonna build them within those three? Uh, protection and defense. Protection and defense, excellent. And would you like to add on any of the, uh, the saber stand, the clip, or the extra pommels? Uh, no. After choosing your set, they give you this cool pin, indicating which one you chose, and it doubles as a cool little souvenir. Quick little R2 T2 photo op, and we are heading in. Thank you. Thank you. Those are acting builders. Welcome one, welcome all, all the way down below. Just soak in that atmosphere. Welcome! Welcome to Sami's workshop. My name is Andrew, and we humbly call ourselves the Gathers because we know we need to preserve the knowledge of the Force for many years to come. All of you are here to answer a call. The call to build this. The lightsaber. It is elegant, mysterious, most of all, powerful. It is an instrument wielded by our noblest of heroes and our strongest of foes. But the lightsaber is nothing but something small but very powerful. The Kyber Crystal. The Kyber Crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. It focuses all the energy of the force within, magnifying it into a blade. That for the color you choose today will be the color of your blade. Starting with the blue. Once wielded by Master Obi Wan Kenobi, his young apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now Rey, Green, Qui Gon Jinn, Master Yoda, Ahsoka Tano, and Luke Skywalker himself. The violet. It is so rare and so beautiful. It was once held by Master Mace Windu. 
Red. The Crystal of Power. Darth Maul. Darth Vader. Asajj Ventress. And now, Kylo Ren. But we're not here to share their stories. We are here to begin all of yours. So, I'll look at this and that coming to you. The special kind of crystals that I just described. Reach out and take the crystal that calls to you the most. Depending on the set you picked earlier, they give you an assortment of pieces to choose from in customizing your lightsaber. Section 3 is your minutes to the top. Section 4 is your columns to the bottom. And then section 5 and 2 sets of activation plates will help for The assembly process is actually pretty simple and straightforward. Very accessible, and kids could definitely do it. Now, this can be the trickiest part of the entire process. If you need any assistance, please let us know. It's really all about the customization, making your saber really your own. Every piece is cast out of metal giving them a real nice heft and weight, along with a premium fit and finish. There's an internal speaker, along with magnets and machined threading, making the whole building and customizing process very smooth and satisfying. The freedom in crafting a lightsaber of your own choosing is what really personalizes and elevates the experience. Upside down? There we go. Now apply pressure and twist. Very good. Alright, if you have both your security, you're good. With a good amount of choices available, the lightsaber really feels unique to you. Alright, let's take a look. When the time comes, we're going to ask you to push up on your push to activate, then back down to deactivate. Let's see. Awesome. Are you satisfied with your build? After finalizing, they insert everyone's handle into this little chamber, followed by a special message from a Star Wars legend. Now, join the Yes, lightsaber. It begins. It is time. Your journey. And if you're ready, take those steps forward. Place your hand on your hilts. And together, as one, activate. <laughs> Overall, a bit pricey, but a very special and memorable experience, especially for the big fans. Heading out, they hand you a padded case to keep your saber safe throughout the day. Oh my god, it's heavy. Is this glass? And one last thing in Galaxy's Edge. We head to Smuggler's Run. One of the cool things about this ride is as you queue up for it, you can see the backside of the Millennium Falcon and all of the really extensive little details they put into it. The waiting area is again full of these intricate art pieces that really expand the universe, making it feel like you're gearing up to really fly the Millennium Falcon. An amazing place to hang out in and really soak in the ambiance. Let us use the ship. We'll get you the supplies you need. We better go before he changes his mind. 
So in this ride, you are assigned a role, either pilot, gunner, or engineer, each given their own task on the mission, which is delivering precious cargo on the Millennium Falcon itself. Ah, a brand new flight. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment. This ride is amazingly fun, and I highly recommend it. Maybe even go multiple times so you can trial the different roles. Right, pilot, push the flashing button to take off. And that will about do it for part one of the Disneyland vlog. As always, I'll close it with some of my favorite shots of the day. If you enjoyed this, be sure to check out some of my other vlogs, and stay tuned for Disneyland part two.